earnings per share eps and price to earnings ratio pe hello and welcome to yet another episode of bsc's investor education awareness series i'm siddharth zarabi and today we'll touch upon two essential valuation ratios known as earnings per share and price to earnings ratio if you read and watch any form of financial news you are likely to hear these terms repeatedly eps and pe a company's eps are the profits divided by the number of outstanding shares basic eps is typically calculated every year as well as every quarter eps is important for you as an investor because as a significant financial metric this allows you to analyze the financial performance of any particular company and founded on eps there are several important financial ratios you must also look into such as price to earnings ratio or the pe ratio the pe ratio of a stock gives you an idea of how many years it would take for the company's basic eps to repay your investment cost without taxes growth and if all the earnings were paid out as cash dividends you can invert the pe ratio to calculate the profits of the company to calculate pe ratio is equal to earnings per share divided by market value per share the pe ratio is important because stock analysts scrutinize the company to get an accurate information analysis about the earnings of that company for example if a company were to deliberately manipulate the numbers to try and appear to be genuine it could mislead you as an investor this is why p e ratio is a widely used stock analysis tool but at the same time it does not mean it is the only one many investors use pe and eps to understand if a share is correctly valued this is fundamental analysis we hope today's episode was informative and helped you understand the key ratios in analyzing your favorite stocks and before i leave you today i leave you with yet another piece of sound financial advice take a look the eps the full form is earnings per share so if the company has a capital of 100 rupees divided into 10 shares so it will be uh, you know par value is 10 if it had made a profit of 100 in a year then the eps of the company would become 10 now it's very important as an index because what it tells you is for every share every equity that it holds what is the kind of earning it makes and why it is important is that you link this earning per share to the market price so when you divide the market price by the uh, earning per share you will get what is called the price equity ratio the pe ratio to repeat when you divide the market price by your number of equity shares in the company you get the <coughs> eps in the company you will get the pe ratio why is pe ratio important because pe ratio tells you that in the market how the company is valued in terms of earnings is it valued for 5 year 10 year 20 years so for instance if the earning per share for a year is 1 rupee and the pe is 10 that means almost 10 years of earnings is valued into the stock price typically higher the pe ratio of course it typically should be for a company which is growing significantly however it is not a common index because as you have seen the market lot of companies with very high pe ratios are there purely because there is lot of demand supply of the stock to give example for consumer stocks the pe ratio may be very high could be in 60s but the growth may not be as high so pe ratio is only one indicator which tells you how many years of the earnings are factored in the share price of the company